Hey, what's up, guys? I'm doing an ancient gear deck profile. Um, I didn't like my last build that I made, so I re rebuilt it. Um, I had a bunch of new stuff in there and lots of stuff that would just frustrate the heck out of you. Is I played this deck, or I faced this deck, or at least something similar to it on the Dueling Network, and I just hate it so much because it's like you have to activate a trap. You activate it, and then it's like, oh, crap, you can't. Is uh, Ancient Golem is on the field, and you can't activate any shows or traps during the battle phase. So, this deck is just so frustrating. And the only way that you can counter this deck is by a bottomless trap hole or a torrential tribute. Anything else, you might as well just forget it. <laughs> and just to give you guys an update on my Venom deck, um, there's only just one chance to it. Uh, just take out an, uh, the second, or just take out a phenomenon and replace it with a uh, black horn of heaven. So there's only just one phenomenon and one uh, Venomaga, the deity of poisonous, of, uh, poisonous snakes in there. So that's the only change to it. So yeah, let's just uh, get on with the ancient gear deck. So I play three ancient gear cannon. Just a really good card. Uh, you can tribute it to you know, like 500 points of damage. Bunch, but uh, um, your opponent cannot activate any trap cards if you tribute if you tribute this card. And then three ancient your soldier. Um, basically has the effect where your opponent cannot activate any special or traps during battle phase. So that's just always just nice to have. And then two ancient your golem. Uh, just really good card. Um, one of this card attacks a fish down defense position, inflicts the damage or the difference between the attack and the, the the defense of this guy. So it's just really handy and has the same effect. You can activate any shots or traps during the battle phase, and also he's a pretty big beater, so that's also pretty nice. And then ancient gear um, can. Is only special summon, and uh, if you control another ancient gear, then then uh, you can special summon that. So it's pretty pretty cool. It, it, even though it has weak weak attack, but it's still a pretty fun card to use. So you go into easy wing rank two plays, and then this guy and this guy are the only cards that use the gadgets. So I mean, it's it's a pretty good card overall if you use the gadgets, but um. There's our cards that I combo with this to make it so you don't have to use the gadgets, which I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, one ancient gear engineer, uh, also another really good card, um, has the same effect where you can't activate any spells or traps. Same with this, has the same effect. And then I only just play one of each gadget. Um, Two is too many in my opinion, because I always just seem to have too many in my hand and just bug the crap out of me. So, I just reduce it down to one so to limit the chances of me drawing it, so. And then that's basically it for monsters. Now for spells. Uh, three gear town. Just amazing card, just gets off all your combo plays. The three cards I'd probably go for would be uh, Ancient Gear Beast. Or uh, Chimera or uh, Dragon. That'd be, that's what I would go for. Because Ancient Gear Golden cannot be special stone, so that's what I would go for, in my opinion. And then 2 MST just for uh, re removal or destroying my own field spell so I can get off the combo plays. And then the troll of the deck, at least one of the trolls. March of the Monarchs. This card is insane. Because um, when I was playing my Venom deck against a deck like this, oh my god, it was just nuts. Because the, um, I'll read you guys what it says. Tree, tree Stone Monsters you, you control cannot be targeted by or destroyed by card effects. Uh, you cannot switch some cards, monsters from your extra deck, which I'm not using an extra deck in here, but. Yeah, this card is just insane on what I can do. And uh, I have two in here, so that's also insanely good. In case that one gets destroyed. 
And then uh, Ancient Gear Castle. This card is also really insane too. It, it basically gives the Ancient Gears a 300 point boost. And then the Tribute only costs one less. So it's really quite good. And then Spell Gear. Um, also a really good card too. Um, basically you tribute three uh, Ancient Gears on the field. And then if you have an Ancient Gear in your hand and one in the deck. Special Summon both of them. And you, and you cannot switch some or right now normal summon or set for until the next set of your um until the next uh, end of your turn. So it's also a really good card for OTKs and everything like that. And then just one magical amount in case my hand gets cloggy, but uh, stuff that I don't need, I can just recycle or recycle it back into my deck. So. It's just good for that. So that's basically it for spells. Now for traps. Uh, three ordeal with traveler. Just the or troll of the deck. Just insanely good. Um, two D prison just for defense. Black corner of heaven. Just insanely good card. Uh, trap stone. So my monsters will get bottomless or anything like that. Um, one magic cylinder. One breaker skill, one mirror force, one torrential tribute. This is for Mermaus, Yes, they're a lot faster than what this deck is. So this this is just to regulate the explosion, or until after everything is done and everything like that. So, and then dark bribe, and then wire tap, insanely good card, and then one imperial custom. This card is for protecting. Um. The uh, Ordeal of Travelers is most people will usually like to MST it. So, uh, in order for that to actually get destroyed, they had to destroy Imperial Custom first and then MST it. So, that would be a waste of an MST if they tried to destroy the um, Ordeal of a Traveler first. So, now uh, that will also be good too. So, but um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. That's basically my upgrade. Or update uh, ancient gear deck it's really quite insanely good test it out on the doing network or dev pro whichever you guys uh, play on um, I'm using on doing Network every now and then so if you guys see me on my uh, YouTube or my username is monster shot 109 so if you guys see me on want to duel me uh, I'll be more than willing to duel you guys um, so yeah so thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys there. Alright, later guys.